السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to Somaliland National Television News in English. Broadcasting from the Central Studio in Hagesa. I am Nuruddin Aluchog and these are the main top stories making headlines. Somaliland President here hold this address conference. Somaliland Minister for Information, Culture and National Currency returns to home. Former Lebanese Prime Minister Kami dies at the age of 80 years. Somaliland President His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mohamed Silayo discusses several key issues in a press conference he held at the presidency. He denounced that Sultan Weber is doing uncooperative actions to national unity, where the president likewise talked about the current political situation of ruling party of Kulmiye. The president of Somaliland said in the press statement that Sultan Weber has come up with something new to Somaliland people and preached the pledge reached by Somaliland people at the same time called for the people to remain united against anyone who tries to destroy the nation. Traditional leaders are common with discussing actions to enhance peace and development, but Sultan Wabar is acting the other way around that he wants to destroy the nation and we cannot accept that anymore. The country's president announced that the government recognized that Sultan Wabar has committed a national treason. The president added that he welcomes anyone with complaints and we will discuss about his complaints to find resolutions. On the other hand, the president discussed about the recent fresh political campaigns in the ruling political party and called for the members in the party of Kumye to stay united and said that I need to finish my term of candidacy that the constitution gave me rights. At the conclusion, the president has sent his congratulations on the occasion of the beginning of the new year of 2015 to the people of Somaliland and extended his wishes to the Somalilanders and likewise wishing to his people prosperity in this new year and recognition. Somaliland Minister for Information, Culture and National Guarantee, Abdullahi Mohammed. Dahir Akuse returned to the capital city of Somaliland from a work-related trip he visited to some European countries. Abdullahi Mohamed Akuse, the Minister of Somaliland Information, Culture and National Guidance, informing about a lot, the long trip he returned from some European countries including France, Germany, Sweden and other countries in Europe continent. The minister thank you to Somaliland diaspora living in these three countries for how joyfully they welcome. Speaking about these issues, the minister stated, I had privately departed from here and went through several countries and several cities where I met with Somaliland diaspora. I would like to thank you through for how honorably and glory they welcome me. We met FMTs and exchanged information about the country and the ideas to raise the progressive race of the nation. These Somaliland citizens are busy laughing people and high tribalism issues through the media. At the conclusion, the minister sent a message of, cond of condolence to the family friends media association and Somaliland nation at Lachi for the days of late Mohammed Rashid Mohammed who passed away in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. You are still watching English news program on Somaliland national television, the only Somali speaking journal with the English news and now for our international headliners in detail. <music> Former Lebanese Prime Minister Rami has been reported to have died at the age of 80 years. The former two-time Prime Minister of Lebanon, Omar Krami, has died peacefully in hospital in Peru at age 80. He initially served as PM for two years at the start of the 1990s and returned in 2004 only to resign after the murder of former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. Video of kidnapped Italian air workers claims to show women is still alive in Syria. Video has been released suggesting that two unofficial Italian aid workers captured in Syria in August are still alive, 
although the footage states it was shot on December 17. They are reportedly being held by the al Nusra Front and undisclosed location. In the video, they call mediators to do all they can to speed their return and insist the Italian government is responsible for their safety. The small NGO for which the women work has been heavily criticized for its mutualism in sending the non-Arabic-speaking pair into Turkey to cross into Syria without papers and with rucksack full of money. That all news that we have for tonight, until we meet next time, I'm leaving you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.